Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you are new here, welcome. And as y'all can see from today's title, we are going to be getting into some fall inspo eyeshadow. This is my favorite time of year, so I am just so ready to get into the colors and the shades and just the vibes. So nevertheless, y'all, let's jump right into it. Before, I am actually going to just go ahead and um, apply my foundation and fill in my brows, and then we're going to get started. All right, I know that we're looking a little crazy right now, but makeup is always just trusting the process and just getting the steps done. And I wanted to go ahead and do this step on camera because this is going to play a big part in just getting your eyes prepped and ready for the eyeshadow. Going in with my flat brush with some concealer on it. I just added some concealer to the back of my hand and I have the shades of just about everything that I'm using listed in my 2024 fall makeup video in the description so if you have not checked that out make sure you go ahead and check that out. What we're going to do is like we would normally do go ahead and conceal our brows and with this we are actually going to drag our product down. So once I go ahead and conceal my brows, like regular, like that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more and do the other side. We're just gonna regularly carve out the brow and we're gonna take the excess concealer that's on the brush and on my hand and we're gonna literally apply all of that to the lower eyelid but you want to make sure you go ahead and do the shape and carve it out like that and then you're going to take the rest and literally just put it here this is kind of like creating a blank canvas for your eyeshadow and it kind of helps with not wasting any product as well so like i said i'm going to go back in and just get what is left over on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take this and put this right over my lid as well and then we are going to go ahead and just buff all of this in like so like that looks crazy but trust me you don't want to skip this step going in with my real techniques brush this is the same brush that I use in all of my videos just about to buff out my under eye concealer I am just going to start right up under the brow bone and you don't want to drag this you just want to buff it in buff it into your foundation and I can already see where like I kind of messed up the line but you can just go back in with your brush straighten that back up and bam back on track so you just want to buff this into your eyelid like I said you don't necessarily have to drag this you are just prepping the eyelid for eyeshadow and again like I said it's gonna look a little crazy because we don't have all of everything on the eyelid yet the shades and the colors to start making everything look nice and blended so just just trust the process Buffing that in like so, and now I am going to. I'm looking over here at my mirror as well as at the monitor, so that's why y'all keep seeing me like go here and then look here because I just want to see and make sure that I'm not looking crazy and it's not looking crazy to y'all, you know. Now we are done with prepping the eyes. Actually, we're not done prepping. As far as the cream products, we're done. Now we're gonna go in and set the eyelid and we are going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent Honey. And I am going to go in with another Real Techniques brush. And you don't need a lot because you're only setting your lid. You always want to dust off the excess. I always say that cover your brush and then dust off the excess and then we're just gonna go right over the lid 
and we're just setting that concealer so it won't start to crease before we go in with our eyeshadow you don't want your concealer on your lid to crease so you want to set that the same way you would do like going into your under eye area I'm gonna go ahead and now use my mirror just so I can see what I'm doing I haven't done a colorful eyeshadow in so long like I was so ready for summer and then it just seemed like summer came and I was barely recording it was just so much going on and life has just been work 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 and I kind of like wasn't doing makeup as much as I was before but I'm wanting to get back into it because this is like what I love doing so here we are and basically the eyelids are set that's what it looks like now we're moving on to the good stuff but when I'm doing eyeshadows especially when it comes to like natural fall colors like orange and brown and like gold I always like to go in with the shade that I contour my nose with to just kind of like start off to create like some definition in the eyes just in general so today I'm gonna go in with my Scentsy Beauty powder foundation again if you all watch my fall makeup tutorial you already know I love this stuff I am going to go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is actually the brush that I use to contour my nose. And we are just going to start right in here with buffing that shade in. And we're basically kind of like creating, like I said, definition in the eye and also using this as our transition color. I like for my transition color to be very, very subtle when I'm going in with eyeshadow colors because you just don't want like too much going on in the you know in, in just in the eye area in general so a tip or a little advice when you're going in with eyeshadow and you're doing certain colors like when you're working with your oranges and your browns and your golds and your tans always go in with the shade that you would use to contour your nose to uses your transition color on your eyelid it just kind of makes the, the makeup flow a little a lot better to me just coming from the eyes and down the face it's just gonna it's gonna be perfect it's going to bring the perfect um definition and come and complex to the face once everything starts to come together and that is what that looks like so y'all see how there's still like the, I still have like that bright in under eye right there. Like, you know, me personally, I like to have a, like a thin line of just highlight under my eye. I just like that clean sculpted kind of like brow clean under eye look, even when going in with eyeshadow. So you don't want to drag this up. You just want to go like right up under and just keep that that area that line of definition that you created with your concealer you want to keep that there you don't want to go no higher than your crease and now we are going to move on to the eyeshadow palette going in today with our Juvia's Place Palace palette as y'all can see I dropped it the black is gone but that's fine because I don't really use too much black anymore. And I didn't want it to just be cracking, just like crack sitting in here and then like get messy. But anywho, we are going to be going in with this dark shade, this middle top shade here. We're going to go in with that and we're going to go in with a smaller um, fluffy brush. But this one is, um, I'm going in with the smaller brush versus the fluffier brush I just used. The fluffier your brush the more airbrush and you know free the product is gonna like apply but when you're going in with a smaller brush even if it's a fluffy brush still the smaller the brush the more detail you can be with placing your product and I only want to go in with this dark shade in my crease actually y'all I'm doing this backwards oh my gosh okay I'm skipping steps actually actually we're gonna go in with our NARS concealer and this is in the shade light one um, again if you've 
been following me on TikTok or Instagram, you've seen me use this stuff over the years. I am going to just go in with a flat brush. This is another Real Techniques brush. And I am just going to go right over my lower lid. I am just creating a blank canvas for the orange eyeshadow that I am going to be applying. When you have like a lighter base, it helps with the um, pigmentation of the eyeshadow. So anytime you all see girls use concealers, or like a real lighter shade of concealer on the lid, it's because they're just, they want, if I would have went in over like my regular, what I already had on my eyes with the orange, the orange wouldn't pop as much as it's going to now that we have a blank canvas basically. It's like a, having a piece of white construction paper or a white canvas and we're just setting ourselves up for a success with the eyeshadow and this doesn't this doesn't have to be applied neat because you're actually going to buff this out as well and that's what we're going to do next going in with another real technique brush i am just going to buff that right into my lid i'm not dragging it up i'm not dragging it anywhere i'm literally just buffing it right into place where i already put it and it's okay if like you get makeup in your under eyes and stuff like that that is why we do your eyeshadow first if you're doing a makeup look with eyeshadow you always want to do your eyes first and then go in and do you know your concealer and your under eye that way you won't mess up anything that you've already done in the under eye with trying to do your eyeshadow if you don't have those like little under eye patches um, to catch makeup when it's falling, which I don't have and I've never really cared to use those because this is just always the process that I take when I know I'm going to be wearing eyeshadow. So we are just going to buff that out and y'all we are about to do this whole look with one palette, okay? So that is what we are looking like right now, okay? You still have your transition color. You still have your bright brow under bone that you carved with your concealer. And now we have our base all ready for the eyeshadow. So let's get into it. So instead of the brown shade, we're actually gonna go in with the orange shade first because that is the shade that we are putting onto our lids. And I'm gonna go in with a I'm gonna go in with this flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to start patting that right on my lid. And you can just keep dipping into your palette to build up that eyeshadow until it is to your likings. This is actually one of my sister's um, favorite eyeshadow looks to go to. Just like adding some orange onto the lid and then we're gonna go into the crease with the darker shade of brown and we're basically gonna be done. And it's gonna be so cute. Once we pop on our lashes and just like a little liner. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into the other side and do the exact same thing. Now we're going to go in with the darker shade right here at the top in the middle with that same brush that I was about to use before. And I'm just going to tap into there. And then with this, I'm going to tap off the excess because that shade is very pigmented and we don't want it too harsh. You're gonna go right into the crease. That's why I said a smaller brush works better for this because you can put it exactly where you want it. And I don't want it to go up as far as I did with the transition color. I just want it right there. And I'm just going to keep blending that out. I don't have to add any more product. That is actually way darker than what I wanted it. But that's fine because we can always go in with the brush that we use with our transition color and just kind of like go over that so no worries no worries it actually doesn't look that bad on camera i just wasn't intending for it to be this detailed but it's fine i feel like it's gonna be cute anyways once i go in and add my lashes and all of that good stuff Again, trust in the process. I've been doing makeup for so long and I still sometimes I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't know if 
this is what I was going for and then I get to the end and I'm just like this came out perfect so today is going to be one of those days because like I said I haven't worked with eyeshadow colors in a long time but when it comes to applying that is something that doesn't change you know even if you're working with new products you still would want to go in with the same steps depending on what kind of look you're trying to achieve and today I'm doing a look that I've done a million times as far as the steps go. So it's just more so of me just getting that comfortable with working with colors and blending and all of that good stuff. But so far, not too bad. I'm looking at the monitor, y'all. I feel like maybe this side is a little bit darker. But I don't know. I don't want to keep stacking it and then like it gets very harsh so what I'm gonna do is just keep dragging it I'm just gonna keep dragging it and I like I said you, I didn't have to go back in on like either eye I just went in once and just kept dragging it kept blending it when you have product on your face and you're taking a brush over it I, tr I promise you the product is shifting so you don't have to go back in and add it just keep blending it and shifting it until it is to your likings and I think it looks pretty good now we're going to go in with our NYX liner and I am just going to do like a very thin line I don't want like a thick liner I am just no I just know that I'm going to be applying my lashes with some black dual lash glue and it always helps to go in with a liner before going in with your lashes because it just is cleaner you know once you lay the lash on it just makes it look so much cleaner because you already kind of have like that black base so and I thought this was just a step that I did until like I was watching other makeup tutorials and other girls were saying like when they go in with the black dual lash glue they always like to do a thin layer of black liner first this side is way thicker but that's okay because you are not going to be able to tell once that lash is on that's literally all we're doing with the liner and now i'm going to go in and just prep my false lashes with my dual lash glue and immediately right after i add dual lash glue to the falsies I like to go in and add it to my lid as well so I am just going to go right over that liner the liner was kind of like my blueprint as to where I would put the glue since I'm working with dark glue and not the one that kind of like clears up so just to be more clean and I already know where you're laying the glue and immediately after I apply my glue these steps are just like one two three this is like how fast I do it I add the glue to my falsies and then the glue to my lid now we're gonna go in with some mascara and just straighten out my natural hairs we're gonna go in with some elf mascara this is in jet black and I am just going to go ahead and Add some mascara to my falsies just in case any like makeup got on it whether it was concealer or eyeshadow you don't want to lay a black lash on top of your lashes after doing eyeshadow without putting mascara on them because you want your natural lashes to blend in with the false lashes so you just need to make sure that it's like a jet black you know foundation for the lashes to sit on so you know black and black it just looks better it looks clean so I always like to do this step while the glue is getting tacky this is like just enough time for me to go ahead and prep my lashes and now we're gonna go in and add our falsies Now that the eyes are done we are going to go ahead and start to bring all of this together with one and with some concealer and some contour and I am not going to be going into detail with all of the products again all of the products that I am using 
using from this point out besides the blush is actually listed in the description box in my 2024 fall makeup video routine so if you want to know what products i am using in the shades be sure to go and check that out so going in with my concealer i am just going to go right into my under eye like that to cream contour because I just I don't know I'm starting to feel like cream contouring is just like a extra step that's not always necessarily needed especially if you're gonna go in and like bronze just to like be a little bit minimum on the products that you put in on your face so some days I will use cream contour some days I want and today I don't think I want to because I already have enough going on on the eyes so I want the rest of the face to just kind of like flow very airbrushy and not be so sculpty you know so we're gonna skip that step today we're still gonna just let this concealer sit and then we are going to blend this out. All right now we're gonna go ahead and start to blend out our concealer. Like I said in my other videos, I like to start in the forehead area first and we are just going to pat that product and we're going to buff it out. That's what we're doing. The word of today is buff. That is the word of every video because that's what you want to do. You want to buff your products in, do not drag them. You will be moving them out of place and you are going to be like, why is this not sitting where I put it? Because you dragged it out of place. So you want to do tapping motions. summer makeup routine I would go in with a lighter shade of concealer and actually in the fall time I normally do I, I don't do that step often in fall because I like a very brown warm bronzy face and a brightened concealer in the under eye can just throw off that vibe but if you want to add that step you can add that step if you still prefer like a brighter under eye just me personally fall time is my time to shine honey and this brown skin is gonna do what it's supposed to do even with makeup on going back in with our translucent setting powder made by laura marcier i am going to just start to set everywhere i put concealer which is in the forehead area first Going down the bridge of my nose. I'm always messy when it comes to this because it can just be kind of like brushed off as far as any access, but you do want to make sure you hit those points where you put concealer. I'm not going to look up. Go ahead, go some more product, dust off that access, look up. Set that under eye, set that under eye. And right here. Because I did apply concealer there. And that is it for our setting powder. Makeup be looking so crazy until you're done. And like, ladies, please, trust yourself know what you're doing be confident and just keep on with the motions until you get to the finished product and this is what we're looking like right now now it is time to bronze now to get into some bronzer we're going to go in with our juvia's place palette palette what i always use for my bronzer and i am just going to go in with this angled brush this brush is made by elf and I am just going to literally dig in that shade. Y'all can already see it's like almost gone. And I am just going to start in my forehead area and just bronze 
out where I would have put my cream contour is where I'm going to go in with my bronzer. shaping the face Ooh, my nose is itchy and I like to go around my chin area as well with my bronzer I'm gonna go back in with our Fenty Beauty powder foundation and we are going to go down our nose and with that same fluffy brush I like to make carve out the shape of my nose and then I start to just like buff it into everything else like my brows and my eyelid and you want to take that all the way down and it just blends in so perfectly because this is the same shade that we went in and put into this area so everything is just going to melt together puffy brush this puffy powder brush with that Fenty Beauty foundation. I use this stuff, <sighs> Fenty, thank you always. I use this stuff for like whatever I want to and it works for everything. I'm just gonna go in and pat over my face, brighten up the under eye a little in the cheek area. So I would just go back in with that same brush that I use to set my under eye and I would just brush into that cheek area just to lighten it up a little because sometimes you can take your bronzer up too far and then it'll take away from that inner highlighted look that you want your face to have and when that happens you can just go back in with the same brush because I'm pretty sure there's going to be excess product left on it and just do your thing honey like fixed and I honestly thought that I was gonna like want to go in with some blush but since there's already a lot going on in the eye area we are not going to do any blush instead we're gonna go ahead and set the face using my Charlotte Tilbury my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish setting spray I am just going to we're gonna go in with our beauty pen and just dry this down Now for the lips, we are going to go in with my brown liner and I am just going to line my lips. Like so. And then we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. Um, lip oil and y'all, I love this. And it's in like this pretty brown shade. It's so cute and we're just going to apply this on the lip I love this applicator y'all it's so big like my lips are naturally big so it just covers like the entire lip and I love that shout out to elf a lip oil that sets like gloss like as far as the texture is God's gift to this earth. All right, you guys, that is it for today's look. Like I said, very quick and easy, simple, one palette. Practice makes perfect. It took me so many years even just to get comfortable with doing those steps and it's really not that hard. You just have to, again, practice. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment any questions that you may have down below. Please, baby, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell because I told y'all I'm back and I am here to stay. And besties, we got to keep up with each other. Okay, this is like, you give me your number, I give you mine. Hit that subscribe button and let's run it up, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in. Bye. Tell me how to have you seen us. It was about five minutes ago. When I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before. I say, oh, tell the girl.